One of the biggest challenges in addressing gender-based violence or violence against women is simply getting people to recognize it and name it. It took 45 years from the United Nations signing of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights until it passed the Declaration on the Elimination of All Forms of Violence Against Women. The 1993 Declaration defines violence against women as any act of gender-based violence that results in, or is likely to result in, physical, sexual or psychological harm or suffering to women, including threats of such acts, coercion or arbitrary deprivation of liberty, whether occurring in public or in private life. The Declaration also says, Violence against women is a manifestation of historically unequal power relations between men and women, which have led to domination over and discrimination against women by men and the prevention of the full advancement of women, and that violence against women is one of the crucial social mechanisms by which women are forced into a subordinate position compared with men. In other words, for hundreds of years, men have had more power than women, and because of this, some men have treated women unfairly and badly. This leads to men having authority and control over women and means that many women aren't able to reach their full potential. Violence against women, or gender-based violence, or GBV, is one of the key things that men can do in society, in the home, in the workplace, in the street, to try and stop women becoming equal to them. Offline gender-based violence happens when men and women are in the same physical location. Gender-based violence that happens when men and women aren't in the same physical space is called online gender-based violence. This kind of gender-based violence against women is committed through the use of digital and information communication technologies, or ICTs, like the internet or mobile phones. Two characteristics of online spaces make GBV difficult to stop. Firstly, borderlessness. An abuser may be in one country's jurisdiction, while the abused woman or woman may be in another country's jurisdiction. Secondly, intractability. Information circulates through ICTs and can be posted and reposted multiple times to multiple locations.